Hello my dear friends and students this is Nikhil Naka founder of electrical engineering courseware this channel and uh, welcome to my new course on MOSFETs MOS field effect transistors in this first video let me discuss about course objectives as well as the introduction to the course the course objectives so the main objectives of uh, making this course and at the end of this course what i am expecting is that you must be very well conversant with the physical structure the physical structure of the mos transistor as well as how it works and next how the voltage between two terminals of the transistor controls the current that flows through the third terminal and the equations that describe this uh, current and voltage characteristics and how to analyze as well as design the circuits that contain these MOS transistors and as well as resistors and DC sources. So we will be discussing our analysis as well as design using a DC source. Now coming to the introduction, so far we were uh, very much familiar with uh, two terminal devices in semiconductors. Two terminal devices, what is the example of a two terminal device? We have a junction diode. Junction diode is an example of a two terminal device. Basically, how uh, wh what is the property of a junction device or the uh, I mean this diode? What is the property of the diode? It's basically like a switch. It, it it's a unilateral device. It can allow current in only one direction. That is in the forward bias. But whenever whenever when the current tries to flow in the reverse direction, it does not allow. So it's basically like a switch. So basic operation that can be realized by a diode is only a switching operation. But after these uh, two terminal devices or these diodes, the semiconductor industry has seen something called as three terminal devices, unlike two terminals in the diode. So the three terminal devices and these three terminal devices became very much popular than, the uh, than these diodes because these three, three terminal devices can perform the switching as performed by the diode as well as they were used in signal amplification as well in signal amplifications also as well as their application ranges from the signal amplification to and as well as designing of uh, these dig digital uh, circuits digital logics and memories as well as the digital memories what uh, what not and uh, the today's uh, the super advanced computers or the mobile phones through which you are seeing this uh, video or the computer through which you are seeing this video basically the building blocks of all these uh, uh, technological uh, uh, innovations are these uh, three terminal devices the basic part the invention of this uh, three terminal devices has revolutionized the technology what we are today enjoying basically so what is the basic principle uh, behind operation of these three terminal devices? So the basic principle is control of voltage across two terminals. We said that this is having three terminals. So across specified two terminals, we will be controlling the voltage applied. And this controlling of voltage across these two terminals will be in turn or automatically controlling the current in the third terminal. So by observing this principle, I can say that it is a source of current which is controlled by voltage so therefore i can con i can model these uh, this three terminal devices as a uh, controlled source i can model this as a controlled source and what is that controlled source and controlled source can also be called as a dependent source dependent source this is same or controlled source or dependent source so it's a basically voltage controlled current source so the circuit symbol may be something like this and uh, modeling of uh, these three terminal devices we have uh, we might have already came across uh, during small signal analysis of bjt so basically in amplifi uh, amplifier analysis of uh, these three terminal devices we use this modeling of uh, controlled source usually not only that not only these applications as we also previously discussed switching is also possible switching is also possible because uh, we are telling that we can control the 
current in the third terminal by controlling the voltage so if you could uh, uh, vary the voltage you can range this current from zero to some rated value okay to zero to some value current so when you are making sure that current in the third terminal is zero you can call it as a off switch when it is at some other value other than zero then it is a non switch therefore switching is also possible so these three terminal semiconductor devices fundamentally are classified into two categories bjt as a and mosfet so b, b what is the full form of uh, bjt it's also called uh, it's a bipolar junction transistor however our course we are not going to discuss about this by bjt and uh, today's uh, our, our this course's hero is the mos uh, fet the full form of mos fet is metal oxide semiconductor so mos done now fet field effect transistor so this is the full form of uh, mosfet so and we will be our uh, whole course of this uh, of this lecture will be discussing about mosfet not bjt so bjt was earlier it was the first generation of uh, three terminal devices and then we got this mosfet so compared to bjt uh mosfets are very smaller in size that means on a single ic or a, you can reduce the size of the ic to realize the same operation when compared you are making with uh, making the ic with bjts so this is the advantage it is very small and the manufacturing process is also very easy and it's a low power device in the sense it requires only very little power to operate hence efficiency of the systems employing mosfets will be high compared to that of bjt heat dissipation is less and cooling requirements will be less and the cost and size of the system is ultimately low and we can make exclusive designs so while designing usually these digital or analog circuits we come across a terminology called as exclusive design so exclusive design it corresponds simply a design wherein which employs very few resistors very few resistors or sometimes no resistors so, but whereas this exclusive kind of design is not possible with a bjt mosfets is possible you can make a bull you can make a design so the same design requiring very less number of resistors or sometimes not even you don't even require any resistors and uh, seeing compare seeing this all these advantages uh, compared to that of bjt the mosfet is the widely used analog device or the three terminal semiconductor device today you see any electronic gadget or any uh, you know any good or any product relating to the electronic industry is manufactured based on mos technology metal oxide semiconductor technology so even this mosfet uh, so when we are talking about latest technology gadgets and computer we come across digital applications basically we talk about digital circuits but not only that this mosfets can also be or this mos technology can also be used for designing analog circuits now uh, basically you uh, make them in a very dense structure in the sense uh, the density uh, density of uh, mos will be high while designing analog circuits the number of uh, mos uh, or the mosfets or the switching devices or the transistors used in the chip per unit area will be very high and uh, today now we are having ic's manufactured using mosfet a single ic is having around uh, 4 billion you know more than 4 billion uh, mosfets in one chip you know so it's uh, really a wonder you know and uh, and in usually in these kind of designs we come across some terminology called as mixed signal design so it is a design wherein in one ic chip 
it can uh, it can hold analog functions as well as digital functions digital functions automatically taken care by uh, the switching device or the digital logic circuits digital logic circuits we have studied that and gate and so on and so forth these are basically switching devices so these devices are implemented basically by the mosfets in their switching mode of operation in the switching mode of operation we basically implement these uh, logic gates and hence we realize the dig digital circuits but uh, and uh, analog circuits also so analog circuits like uh, filters filters amplifiers amplifiers all this analog operations so whenever we, we talk about digital operations it corresponds to switching operations and we talk about analog operations it corresponds to filtering and amplification operations and all these operations can be implemented or taken care by this mosfet that is the advantage but when we were talking about two terminal devices like diode it is only able to switch but not amplification or filtration purpose therefore any ic which involves these both functions on the same chip compartment uh, it's called as a mixed signal design this kind of design is called a mixed signal uh, device and i can provide you a practical example uh, of MSP, it's called uh, a device called MSP. Uh, it was produced by the Texas Instruments Company. Texas Instruments. Uh, these uh, people manufacture this MSP uh, series of uh, microcontrollers. It's basically microcontroller where MSP means mixed signal processor. This microcontroller on board can uh, take care of digital as well as uh, analog signal analog signals digital and analog signals so this is just uh, one example uh, and uh, the first field effect devices the 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 you no know, the uh, a brief uh, historical uh, perspective of this uh, kind of working principles uh, is presented in this slide so uh, in 1925 basically a patent was for uh, solid state electric field controlled conductor was filed in canada by this uh, gentleman Julius E. some Ellen Field. He is a physicist in the Unif University of uh, Leipzig, Germany. Uh, at, uh, at the same time, and uh, refining his work, and some other uh, scientists have uh, filed a patent in these two years. But however, whatever work was done <coughs> beyond this uh, 1928, before 1928, in this 1934, this uh, field effect uh, concept was not physically realized because uh, technology at that time was very poor and it, they, they were not sure whether this would work out or not but in 1947 at the bell telephone laboratories they have uh, uh, developed this bipolar transistor or the bjt although bjt was the first invented device in the three terminal uh, category the working principles of the field effect uh, or the mosfet or the fet was uh, was prior to that of bjt so uh, when bjt was actually invented in this 1947 it started to rule the market uh, so this uh, further delayed the development in the mos technology or the or the field effect technology but however mr william shockley he described in 1952 about the physical uh, feasibility of realizing this mos or F fet field effect based devices until 1960 this technology did not come into the market unless and until this bell labs scientists at bell labs have taken their initiative but however the idea of field effect control for amplification and switching has changed the world it has changed the world so with integrated circuit chips today containing billions of mos devices mos dominates the electronics world it's true mos is dominating the electrons electronics world and after uh, MOS, the there is a hybrid version of MOS which is called as CMOS, complementary MOS. It's nothing but uh, uh, two types of or two opposite polarity of MOSs are uh, fabricated on a single device, and that becomes a CMOS, complementary MOS. So basically, MOS, uh, this MOS itself is the king of the electronic industry. And uh, thank you for watching this introduction video. I am looking forward to catch you in the next video, however, and uh, please uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel for more professional and informative courses in electrical engineering, and uh, this is my initiative uh, to spread uh, good knowledge to everybody through this uh, platform of YouTube. Please uh, like our Facebook page as well as uh, uh, 
follow uh, fo follow this stay tuned to this channel all the time and uh, thank you so much